Hi everyone. Today we're going to put on this four piece aluminum A arm CB boot guard set on this 2018 Polaris Sportsman 1000 XP. Basically, we ordered this from Ricochet, the ricochet.com. They're just about 200 bucks. They come com with a complete set. So you have your four of these, one free shine in the front, one free shine in the back. It comes with the installation hardware. You need basically one tool. It couldn't be easier than that. And they recommend you use some anti-seize lubricant, a drop or two. It's all it really takes. We're the these I put on, there's, you can see there's four drilled holes. You basically have these bolts are welded on already. You screw in from underneath and these hook onto the A-arms. They're custom for your machine. Make sure you enter your machine on the website. You can get these in different anodized colors as well. It's another $30 or $40. We elected to not do that. We think they're going to get bing, binged up and dinged up and everything else on the trail, so we didn't do that. So we're going to put these under under there loosely at first, turn the wheels back and forth a bunch of times. They, they look good, then we'll snug them down. Let's get started. So we're about halfway on the first CB boot A-arm guard on the this side. We have the two rear mounts on there are four in total if you look at this mounting kit you can see this simply comes hooked over the a-arm this comes from underneath and screws in this bolt is welded on they ask you to put a drop or two of anti-seize lubricant in here and screw into it so now we're going to put the two front ones on and still keep it kind of loose to make sure the wheels turn properly and then we'll do the other side and then tighten them up So basically now we're just turning the wheels back and forth and just kind of getting a feel for will it grind or anything like that and it won't. We haven't pushed in more towards the center. It seems to be working pretty good on this one. We might adjust them out just a little bit for more protection. We'll keep messing. So we got one CV boot guard on now. It's snugged, but not super tight. We've turned the wheels back and forth, fits really good. We found pushing it towards the center definitely helped with that. Uh, the next one, we did each of the four of those individually. This time we put the four connectors you screw from underneath into these welded nuts. We're gonna try to do it loosely, put them on and just twist these over the, the A-arms and then snug them up that way and see how that works. We'll let you know in just a minute how that went. Go ahead. We're good. So we flipped the four of these hooker anchors on. We've got the last one. This side works really nice, putting them on loosely. I don't know if you'll be able to see this on film, but I'm trying to basically get the last one up and over, and then you twist it on is what we're trying to get to here. It's not really too hard. It's only took us all of them. To get it on there loosely, all of about 10 minutes, you're gonna see a little groove down there. We're gonna center that, and then we're just gonna snug it up a little bit from there. So now we'll snug it up a little, turn the wheel back and forth. This time we've decided to center with the crossbar down there. If you can see it, you can, I believe you can. We're just gonna center it on each side versus um, snugging one side to the other. And it just seems to work absolutely perfect that way. So now we're on the back, parked on a little bit of an angle in case it looks funny. We're gonna do the two back CB boot A-arm a guards. We put these attachment kit on very, very lightly. Tiny little bit of anti-seize lubricant in there. We're gonna hold it in there, wiggle these over the A-arms, and then use the Torx wrench to tighten them up underneath. So we're gonna both hold that on there now and then see how it looks. So we have the right side that we're looking at now on, and now we're gonna do the left. On the rears, just make sure you put the right size bolts through, or hooks, really hook clamps. The bigger ones go on the back, and the smaller ones go on the front. Fairly simple. The right one took us probably about seven or eight minutes just because we had a hard time reaching one, still pretty easy. 
So we're getting ready to do the left side that we're looking at here, rear A-arm CB boot protector. You have two hooks here and two hooks here for the front. The front, we're all the same size. The rear, you have an 11 force, and then the other one just has a one for the two fronts. We're gonna put them on really loosely, the two rears and knees. We put just a dab of anti-seize lubricant in the top of each nut. Give it just, just enough to, for it to hold, put it on there, slide them all around, and then tighten them down. Pretty simple, it should take us about five minutes. We just got this piece up. We took the hook clamps uh, on there and we got them attached. Now we're basically just gonna take this torque wrench piece and tighten them down and we should be good to go. In the back, we're not too concerned with them rubbing the wheels as much so as we would be on the front, I don't think. Um, but it seems to be lining up really well. Really easy construction. Especially if you can get your machine up a little bit, not doing this from your back would really be nice. Um, not, as you can see, that this, two of them snugged up just that quick. One of them in the back, we have a little bit of a hard time getting to, but for the most part, these are really, really easy. It would have been nice if you had a magnetic piece to hold your, your Torx wrench on your socket. Other than that, that's the only thing that's tricky for us is every once in a while it just falls off. But that's it, we'll snug these up just a little bit more and we'll be all set. All right guys, we got all four of them on. We filmed, took pictures, screwed off a little bit, it took us about an hour. If you just kind of came out and hit it, really wouldn't take you all that long. A couple things that we did, or mainly one thing, the brake lines back here were kind of touching some sharp edges in here. So we took a zip tie, tightened it up, also cracked a beer at some point also. So, but just wanted to keep that away from rubbing at all. Didn't make it too tight, just a little bit enough just to keep it away. Uh, we'll see how this works on the trails, but I like the way they look. I think you will too, give you a little extra protection. Thanks for stopping in.